This episode of Film Riot's brought to you by Squarespace and Mass Effect 2. Assemble your team. Fight for the lost. Today on Film Riot, we're going to discuss aspect ratio, and later, I go back to torturing Josh. I wish you could feel how gross this is. Because I can. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes a mystery out of the effects and techniques so go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Now, I don't have anything clever or interesting to say here to start us off. Wish I did have some sort of quib, quick little haiku or whatnot, so you could be like, Ryan, you crazy, man. But I don't, so let's get into the email. I noticed you use black bars on some of your videos, and some of my DVDs have that as well. What is this called, and what is its purpose? Ricardo. Excellent question, Ricardo. Which I will get to after this public service announcement. This isn't mine, but no one's looking. Guess I'll take it. Don't steal. conversation on aspect ratio can quickly become confusing, so I'm just going to cover a few cinematic standards that you might use or come in contact with, and that will be 133, 178, 185, and 235. 133 is a 43 aspect ratio that's used as an NTSC TV standard and is square like a box. For Josh. Now with the advent of HD, the standard is shifting to 16 by 9, which is the 1.78, which is currently the aspect ratio you're watching this in right now. Now when I do my short films, I'll map the image to get a more cinematic aspect ratio like 185 or 235. 185 is a wide image, but not quite as extreme as 235. Now there's no wrong decision when choosing your aspect ratio, but I personally favor 235 because I like the composition of that aspect ratio much better. But regardless of which one you choose, you have to know what aspect ratio you're going for before you shoot. That way you can compose your shots accordingly. Now once you've shot your footage, you'll need to... Oh, that's my train of thought. Give me a sec. Are you me banana? Are you me banana? Are you me banana? Are you me banana? I'm a human banana. Ah, I remember. Once you have your footage shot, you have to add the black bars to get the aspect ratio you want. Now I use Final Cut Pro to do all my editing, which has a built-in plugin to do just that. Oh, ow! If you're working with something other than Final Cut Pro, you can use a mask or the crop tool to do the exact same thing. Side note for filmmakers. Don't watch films in full screen. The way they get a full screen image from something that was originally shot wide is by zooming into the picture, which completely changes the composition and hides information on the left and right sides of the frame. I freaking hate full screen, and so should you. In fact, if full screen was a person, I would find out where it lived by breaking into the DMV, then, in the middle of the night while I was sleeping, break into its house and kill its entire family! <clears throat> I just, I don't like it. The latest installment of Bioware's space epic, Mass Effect 2, follows Commander Shepard and his crew into the far reaches of the galaxy. Shepard tries to unlock the mysteries behind entire human colonies disappearing, facing seemingly insurmountable odds, and a team he can't entirely trust. Sounds like film right, doesn't it? Except Shepard is humanity's last hope for the lost. Sounds good, I know. Mass Effect 2 is available January 26th, so buy it, and you can thank me later. Good evening, Brett. Hey, dude. No, 
Oh, we're uh, all out of creamer. I just used the last bit. I was gonna go to the store, but I got sidetracked. Sidetracked? Yeah, well, I saw Becky at the store, and I didn't tell you this yet, but we broke up last week. And it's been really hard on- Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God, it hurts so much! Oh, it burns! Oh, my God, you know what it all feels good! Oh, oh, God! Next time, don't forget the creamer. Okay. Say that next time. So, I had an entirely different segment plan for this second half which had something to do with a duck, a rubber hose, and a slip and slide. But after doing the dark cis sketch with Josh, I found that the way we figured out how to do his makeup was much more interesting. Wait, can, can you get it for me? Uh, uh, thanks. Is it gone? Now, obviously, when you mix flour and water, it becomes like a paste. Well, I found it was decently easy to work with, so I decided to give it a shot by smearing it all over Josh's face, which he loved. Mm, it's so cold. It feels disgusting. So first get a bowl and mix in some flour and water. Of course, it's gonna take a few tries to get the right ratio of each. And now you're ready to apply it. Now, since I was trying to get Josh to look a little bit like Dark Sidious, I applied it to his entire face. After I covered his face, I let the flour dry on him, then took some white face paint that you can find in any party store and applied that to his face and neck. Once finished, it gave us an old dry and cracking skin look. But the use of this mix doesn't stop here. You could always use it in conjunction with some skin colored makeup to come up with a ton of other effects, like disease on the skin, some kind of burn, or possibly as a substitute for nose and scar wax. <laughs> You're telling me about Joshua! <laughs> so then I thought, what a great reason to give you a chance to be on the show. So make your own one to two minute tutorial showing a way that you've come up with on how to use this flower water mix, and the best one will make its way onto the show in just two weeks. Now all submissions must be in before January 31st. So get to work, and once you're done with your video, send me a link to my Twitter or to our Film Riot Facebook page. Now have fun, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Manage your entire Squarespace site on the go with the new Squarespace iPhone application. You can post and edit blog entries and upload pictures on the fly. Snap photos on your phone and quickly post them to your blog. And content management is super easy. All of your posts will be accessible directly from your Manage tab. You can edit drafts, delete posts, and preview posts with ease. And best of all, you can manage multiple accounts. Your Accounts tab allows you to manage content from multiple Squarespace sites. You can save a draft post from one site and then easily jump to another site to schedule a post for later in the day. So jump over to squarespace.com and get your site going. And when you do, be sure to use the promo code FILMRIOT to get 10% off the life of your order. And that's it. But if you have something you'd like to see on the show, you can email me at filmwriter at revision3.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. And don't forget to check out the Facebook page. Now, if you want your tutorial to make it onto the show, be sure to have it submitted before January 31st. And I'll see you next Thursday. It seriously, it smells like the inside of a duck's anus. Yeah, I want to see like Ah! Suck that! Suck that! Suck! Not even remotely fun. Yeah!